Good afternoon, everybody. It's Monday, and Bob and I are here in the studio with you today. I think we have the green frontal behind us. Oh, we do. And I am actually showing us live, so this is good. We were having a little bit of a problem sorting out if we were really live or not. So we are glad to be here and do noon prayers with you. And um, I think Bob is going to head over yep. here in a minute, maybe. This is so true, and me. I just wanted to be sure that it looks like we are on and I'm hoping you can hear us okay. Yep. So, okay. Yep, looking, this looking is good. good. And um, so we're going to get started with our good. noonday prayers. Yes. And here we are. And so we'll start on page 103. Yes. Our norm. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, now and will be forever. Be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Today we're going to be reading Psalm 114, found on page 756, if you have your prayer book with you. Hallelujah. When Israel came out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange speech, Judah became God's sanctuary, and Israel his dominion. The sea beheld it and fled. Jordan turned and went back. The mountains skipped like rams, and the little hills like young sheep. What ailed you, O sea, that you fled? O Jordan, that you turned back. You mountains that you skipped like rams. You little hills like young sheep. Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord. At the presence of the God of Jacob. Who turned the hard rock into a pool of water. And flint stone into a flowing spring. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. Be forever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Today I'm reading from Ecclesiastes, and this will be very familiar. It's chapter 3, starting at verse 1. For everything, there, for everything its season, and for every activity under heaven its time, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time for mourning and a time for dancing, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to abstain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to discard, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time for silence and a time for speech, a time for love to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. What profit has the worker from his labor? I have seen the task that God has given to mortals to keep them occupied. He has made everything to suit its time. Moreover, he has given mankind a sense of past and future, but no comprehension of God's work from beginning to end. I know that there is nothing good for anyone except to be happy and live the best life he can while he is alive. Indeed, that everyone should eat and drink and enjoy himself in return for all his labors is a gift of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Um, these readings, uh, I, I probably should have had you read it out of <laughs> Yeah, it was different wording than I'm, the, than the I'm wording, used to. Yeah, I thought it yeah. was interesting to have yeah. the different translation, yes. though, and, actually. Uh, and, it, and it really does help bring out the meaning <clears throat> when you hear a couple of different translations. Yes instead of repeating what you already know. Right, and, and, uh, right. But it is uh, from Ecclesiastes. Yes. And, uh, and it is one of those familiar, uh, because of the birds, <laughs> turn, right. turn, turn, turn. Turn, 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 uh, yes. But, uh, <laughs> but also uh, it's become increasingly uh, a favorite for... Um, uh, funerals. Yes. And... I yes. will say that for my mother's funeral, I yeah. said, no, yeah. I don't want this. Really? Yeah. Because it yeah. was not her time to die, in my opinion. It was not so her time. I oh, have a yeah. hard time with this one. I always have. I've never really yeah. cared for this yeah. little yeah. part. Interesting. Yeah. That's, that's, it's just... It's a um, different perspective. That's yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. But I, th I did like the different wording. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it is. Um, it's, re it's the uh, reading that is... Uh, uh, authorized for this day when we 
uh, remember Jeremy Taylor, okay, who was an Anglican uh, priest and writer, mm -hmm. uh, came Cambridge fellow, mm -hmm. um, who is um, one of the people who wrote classics of de of the um, Anglican divinity, okay. the divine um, classic literature. Um, he's 17th century, mm -hmm. um, uh, lived throughout the uh, time of the Puritans and their, um, their uh, attempt to and, and success with success yes. for uh, for uh, a period of time in England where they dominated and mm -hmm. uh, and actually he suffered and lost his position right. as uh, as a bishop and then uh, had to um, be in exile almost mm -hmm. in in Wales and then uh, uh, when the crown was restored. Um, he became bishop in Eng in England and then in Ireland. Okay. Um, so anyway, Taylor's uh, primary work that is remembered is um, the rule and exercises of holy living, mm -hmm. and the rule and exercises of holy dying. Dying, right? Which is why this right this whole uh, Ecclesiastes uh, reading becomes so um, appropriate. Sure. Taylor's uh, argument is that all of us have the ability to live a holy life, mm -hmm. um, and not only the way that we live, um, but also the way we prepare for death. Okay. And it isn't his idea isn't so much that uh, that God has preordained when we will die, right? But rather that um, that all of us have a. a an ability and a responsibility to um, try to do both living and dying the most faithful way we can. Okay. Um, and so uh, he wrote some books. I've actually uh, I left at my desk, ah. but uh, um, he wrote these two books to try to give people advice about how they can manage to live these lives mm -hmm. of holiness and faithfulness, and um, and. One of the things that I loved about uh, what he had to say, and and is reflected in this Ecclesiastes after the familiar right. part, uh -huh. is this idea of um, we should all have the opportunity to to live well. Right. He talks about uh, how we could enjoy our life. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. know if you can find to, that there. Yeah. Um he has made everything to suit its time. Moreover, he has given mankind a sense of past and future, but no comprehension of God's work from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. I think that's an interesting statement. I know that there is nothing good from anyone except to be happy and live the best life he can while he is alive. Yeah. Indeed, that everyone should eat and drink and enjoy himself in return for all his labors is a gift of God. Yeah, yeah. I really like the phrasing on that because I think it's a really good reminder of the top part that has always disturbed me, right. that um, despite all of that, we're called to live our lives right. and live them in a faithful mm -hmm. and as good of a um, joyful, happy manner right. as right. is possible. And some days it's more possible than other days. Right. But... And the idea we, really is yeah. that, that no matter what's going on, you have the opportunity still to live it faithfully. Yes. No matter yes. what. But the, our calling is to be able to enjoy life. Right. Um, and that was in sharp contrast to the Puritans of the time mm -hmm. who became the pilgrims in Massachusetts. Right. Who believed that um, our whole life would be one of toil and... and yeah, <laughs> and, and drudgery. And, and, and drudgery. And, and, and yeah. if you seem like you're having a really, really good time, you missed the point someplace. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> and, right. And, uh, and Taylor argued against that to say, yeah. um, no, God... God created life in a way that it should be able to be lived well and joyfully. Yes, that, yes. That a good life, a faithful life, will also be an enjoyable life. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. um, and so he gives us people to enjoy, he gives us food to enjoy, right. um, all the things of life that, 
you know, I particularly like ice cream, right? So, uh, kind, uh, of. kind of, <laughs> uh, and, and ice cream is all a those different God. flavors. Yeah. All those different <laughs> flavors. And, and Taylor would argue that all these things that happen in life and all the people we meet are opportunities for us to live a good, healthy, faithful life right. and enjoy it. Right. I think there's also a measure of you have a choice in life too. You know, to all of us, really rotten things happen. Yeah. In all of our lives, we have things that we're, we just, you know, the supplications mm -hmm. of why me? Right. Oh, yeah. But yep. despite all the bad, there is so much joy. And mm -hmm. even with the bad, it's our responsibility to choose the joy and right. not be pulled down and caught yep. up forever right. in the bad. Yep. And that's hard to do sometimes to make that turn yep. towards the joy. Yeah, I, I think our funeral service helps us with some of that. Where Absolutely. Where it describes it as uh, grief is not unchristian. However, right. it's one of the emotions we will feel. And our job is to celebrate yes. that, in fact, God has done the work to have victory over death. Yes. And even in the worst of grief, we can mm -hmm. still celebrate and give thanks mm -hmm. and find the joy. Yes. Um, different from happiness, from being always right. happy. Right. Joy is something think... which is stronger, which is mm -hmm. deeper. It's deeper, right. That, that can uh, give you something to hold on to mm -hmm. even when there is grief, mm -hmm. right? And, yeah. Uh, and so, that was kind of the major theme of his writing about holy living and holy dying. Right. A lot of people thought holy dying, that, you know, what in the world could that be? But his idea was exactly, can you still find joy? Can you still find right. um, the way that you have hope mm -hmm. despite the nat natural part of life, of life which is of also dying. death? Right. It's going right. to happen. Um, and so if we can learn how to live in that way, we give testimony in right. our own life um, right. in in many ways just as your own mother did i mean i, I know it's yeah hard to i mean say, i look back and this say was, this wow not she right didn't time, she never but, lamented she never no. i mean she was right and and when you look at a life that can live that way you recognize what a christian response to difficulties right is called to be but it's not only our own death that we need to find the joy in life during that Right. period, if we're sick or whatever, but right. it's the death of other people close to us That's and, right. and that we do have the responsibility. And I don't know, tell me, it, it seems kind of a platitude to me mm -hmm. sometimes if people are saying, well, you know, you it's your responsibility to carry on the good part of it. I always find that a little tiresome, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know theologically where this yeah. lies. But what I do know is that as our responsibility to to live our lives and yes. to find the joy in our lives despite yeah. the deep grief or whatever right. else that has yeah. happened. Yeah. Yeah. Including the deep grief. Yes. I mean it's important to recognize that. Right. But at the same time still learn how to live. Yes. Because that's our that's our calling, our individual calling is to yes. learn how to live that so mm -hmm. that there should still be that sense of joy. Right. And finding things in life that give me hope. Right, absolutely. And finding things in life that give me purpose. Mm -hmm. And um, so yeah. all those things, hope, purpose. Joy. And joy. Yeah, And joy needs to be there. So enough for Jeremy Taylor for the day. There you go. But, um, but a good partner. Yeah. Um, so, okay. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be your, your name. name. Your, your kingdom come, come your, your will be done on earth as in heaven. heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Almighty Savior, who at noonday called your servant St. Paul to be an apostle to the Gentiles, we pray you to illumine the world with the radiance of your glory that all nations may come and worship you. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And we invite your intercessions or thanksgiving silently aloud or typing them into Facebook to join with the community on the Old Donation prayer list today. We include Linda, Dot, Philip, Jim, Tom, Seal, Harriet, 
Kathy, Anne, Dick, Charlie, Barbara, Holly, Dave, Tony, Peter, Frank, John, Kathy, Maggie, Henry, Elizabeth, Connie, Steve, Denise, Rick, Linda, J. Ann, Alexandra, Jennifer, Bill, Ben, Edith, Chris, Rose, Sarah, Claudia, Rob, Denny, Larry, Kelly, Bill, Bobby, Alec, and Dan. And we pray also for God's vision of a beloved community to be our vision for this parish, for this city, nation, and world, for peace around the world, especially in Ukraine, Syria, Sudan, Gaza, and Israel, and for um, all other prayers for needs and yeah, that, that we, we don't, don't even know, know about. Right. Yep. So, um, but we do have birthdays to celebrate. Oh, good. good. So today is the 12th. So we have Marjorie Garcia Garrett, Jenna Crumley, Chris Roten, Stan Walchuk. And tomorrow we've got Lizzie has a birthday. <laughs> so they've got a big week this week. And Scott Pickett and Brandon Pelton. Okay. And no anniversaries today. But tomorrow, hmm. We've got Pam and Scott Pickett, so they have a double Ooh, celebration tomorrow. Birthday and, and anniversary, yeah. both. Okay. Yeah, so that's fun. This is good. This is good. Very well, fun. Well, they will probably have a lot of joy. I hope so. <laughs> so uh, hopefully they do. Um, and uh, this week, we've got a couple things going on. Tomorrow night, I know, is the Joy Dinner. Joy Dinner, speaking of joy, 530 right. at Hot Pot 757. So that's in... Um, I can't is remember where Hilltop? it is. All right. No, I, no, I don't know where it is. But I don't Hilt know. It, it yep. was in the chimes. But yep. Sue Wilson is your point of contact for that. Okay, good. And then and Wednesday at 6, we've got a family movie night. And we're going to be uh, showing Elemental, which is good for everybody. I don't know what it's the a Disney, is. Disney yeah, It's a Disney animated movie yeah. that uh, is fabulous. Uh, six o'clock, we'll start serving pizza, and um, and and Bethany, our youth and family minister, is the one uh, kind of running that yeah, show. Yeah, leading this so up. So you know it'll be good for all Absolutely. ages. Absolutely, she's, she's doing said, great things. She's watched it a million times or something like that. So yes, she said it's one of her, of her family's yeah, favorites, yeah, so, so it'll be good. So come and join us on Wednesday night, 6 o'clock, supper and a movie. Right. And then uh, and then beyond that, I'm not sure that I, we've got any big things on Saturday. I can't but, remember um, anything. But then on Sunday, we'll have our normal normal yep. service again. And 8, 10, and 5. 8, 10, and 5. Yep. But watch your times. It'll come out on Wednesday. <laughs> 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Yes. Somebody said that they saw it somewhere that it was 10.30. So if you find that spot, you win the prize and let me know because yes. I need to fix it, but I can't find it. So uh, I am so, overlooking something. So at any rate, uh, it's, a, it's a good week yes. and it's a great, great Monday. So we will bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Everybody have a great day.